Oh, there was extra meat. Wow, that was delayed. I missed from two feet away. Oh, I'm running out of ammo for this. I didn't realize I was running so low on that ammo. All right, dude, where are you at? Uh, I don't have any throwables. I have a cryo mine. Oh, I, have, I, have some, well, I don't think the bait's going to work on them. We have an up and a down path. Let's go up first. Is there a hollow? Oh, no, that's not a hollow tape. That is. Does look like it's some ammo, though. Thirty-eight. Yeah, we need that. Oh wait, there's more. Anything else over here? No. Surgical tray. Um, ooh, redway. Still no hollow tape. This area looks pretty large. Freddy Lang. Uh oh. Run. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, uh, especially not good. Come on, I thought I was loaded. Why, why is this? Why do I keep? Why am I not loading it when it's loaded? Not actually putting ammo in. Again. Oh, uh, you know what? It's because he's hitting me mid an animation. I need you to not hit me, dude. Not hit, not hit, not hit. Please, 
please have the holotape on you, Freddie Lang. Bandit's key fragment. Yeah, that's what I need, I think. Check the terminal. All right. Go outside the main, the mine entrance, or the main entrance. All right, but is this leading to that main entrance? Because if so, there was more I wanted to explore down below. Good thing you're glitched, because I did not see you. T oh, and you keep rehealing. Yeah. Are you? Oh, you're 22 though. Um. Yeah, you're glitched also. Oh, if you get unglitched, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, so let's, let's kind of get through here quick. What are you? Nothing? All right. Not going to sleep. Adhesive. Fingers crossed we get through this quickly. That was pretty quick. I'll take it. Handmade glue. Water systems, what was that? Water systems, monitoring and control. Pump step, pump one status offline since 2022. That's what, 55 years before the bombs? Am I correct in that? Pump status two, same deal. Exterior pump status, same deal. Wait, did I misread that? Does that say 22 or 52? Yeah, it says 22. One thousand death within two weeks or less. All right, current water radioactivity levels in. Um, um, uh oh, there's somebody walking. All right, maybe not. It might just be them shuffling his own foot. All right. Uh, incident exposure causes vomiting, 50,000 likely developed cancerous organs, 5,000 annual safe exposure limits. All right, so there's a lot of bad stuff going on there. Remote door control, what door does this open? There's not another door down here. Let's see, where was there another door? Let's quickly get by that. All right, we circled all this already. Yeah, because I found him, so okay. So that's one way. All right, let's see what's down here. Oh, there's a hollow tape. This is Foreman Hibbs, United States Department of Energy. Blackwater mine has changed a lot over the years. Plenty of you already know what happens when a mine tunnel hits groundwater. So the pump shouldn't be too surprising. But yeah, just to put any rumors to bed, we're also trying some new ways of getting at those precious rocks. And yes, it is. 
involves melting the uranium while it's still underground and siphoning it up. Sure beats hauling it by hand. It works. I don't think that means any of you are getting extra time off. Stop listening to this and get back to work. All right, let's take a look at Dr. Philip Cotton's logs. So this is April of 76 to June of 77, so that's just a couple of months before the bombs. With the discovery of uranium in what we thought was a strictly coal deposit, the United States Department of Energy has taken control of the site as it is now a matter of national security. I, I will be relocating from our facility in Morgantown and taking control of the site. Dr. Cotton, National Energy Technology Laboratory. Data corrupt. We've had several successful small scale tests of the, of the in, what is that, in situ leach pro process? And it looks like this, and it looks like this looks to be a promising location for long term extraction. I received orders to oversee the facility permanently, Dr. Cotton. Data corrupt. Data corrupt. Construction on the primary facility is complete and it appears to be fully operational. We'll be working to reinforce the water pumping systems and strengthening the core of the mine and shutting off other portions. Over the course of development, our on-site staff has increased to 50. Assuming all goes well, this facility will eventually run itself. The new foreman will begin work next week and will oversee operations during optimization processes and staff reductions. So again, that's just talking more about the, uh, the automation. And when he says the new foreman, I'm assuming that's the auto foreman, right? All right, so we are going to go back down this way. Is there anything we can do here? I don't want to jump in that water. But I am wondering if there's something over there. All right, we're going to continue down this main path, uh, which was yeah out this way. And yeah, this is the direction we need to be going. See if there's anything I'm missing. It does not really appear so. More rats. All right, somewhere around here there was a foot locker. Where'd it go? There we go. Ooh, combat armor chest. Uh, let's pull out the Somerset. Yeah, we have a decent amount of ammo in this. Now, where did that that thing go? Is that it right there? Looks like it. Maybe not. Nope, that's not it. Let's try this because it should be a little easier to see. Where is it? I don't know, so we're going to go back to the shotgun. Oh. All right, well now it's now it's starting to seem like everything is glitched in here. As he's Yeah. So this might be the main entrance.
Decontaminate. Oh, can I turn that on and use that? I could use that. All right, there's quite a bit to look at in here. Let's start with this first. Will this auto turn on, or do I have to use that kind of that computer? Oh no, there we go. Oh. Um. Why was I taking damage? Assuming this is going to be another bathroom. Uh, let's see. Anything that's. Hey, make glue. Yes, we want adhesive. Oh. Wait, mystery locker. Alright, what's this mining light? Alright, I, I want to see what this mining light is now. Is that by any chance... Apparel. It's not appear to be, so did it just go under junk? Yeah. Alright, not what I thought it was going to be and or hoping. But that's alright, I already got my mining lamp, my hat. There's another one. Does that look any different than the one I currently have? Let's take a look. I'm mining helmet, so let's take a look at our what we currently have. Uh, let's put that away. All right, so that looks. All right, let's take a look at the second one. That other one will look kind of neat though. We'll go with this for now. Aluminum, yes. Duct tape. Oh, a minor clean hat. That looks like that 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 looks like the first one I had. I like that one because that looks old school. Then there's another mining light. All right, so this just kind of came full circle. And this, I assume, is gonna lead out to Appalachia, yep. Duct tape. Freddy Ling, oh, this is the guy. All right, Freddy Ling's holotape. still 
are getting back. I better go. Put that mean face back on. I wish the bombs never took you from me, Lucy. I love you. Always will. Well, wow, that was one of the longer holotypes. Um... I think the longer ones were at the beginning in Flatwoods, right? Where there's all those people were telling the stories. But yeah, that was a longer one. That was that was pretty sweet, actually. But I assumed Freddy was a was a male. Uh, Freddy was a female. This is Foreman Hibbs, United States Department of Energy. If you're hearing this, then welcome aboard and all that. I'm sure the human resources folks have got you situated, but there's one thing I need to make sure we drilled into. So you're gonna get it again. Blackwater Mine is a government uranium site. That means you're a federal employee now. And all those background checks and security interviews you went through wasn't just for fun. Every yield we fail to bring up is a national security problem. One less missile gets made. One less power plant gets fueled. Department of Energy isn't messing around. I'm not messing around. So stop listening to all this and get back to work. Let's dig up some shiny rocks and hope they don't make us sterile. All right, so that's that Mitch. He was running the joint for a while. Uh, let's see. More adhesives. All right, now we have this computer to take a look at. Freddie Link's logs, foreman's reports, and production reports. All right, so this is Freddie Lang. Help. Uh, check the terminal, Blackwater. Go outside the mine ain't entrance. Completed that. Okay. Uh, not giving up. Getting harder to think and straight. Skin glowing. So sick. I tried. Feels good to be down in the mine. Warmer. Near the radiation. Just going to sleep there. Wait for whatever. Yeah, so that Freddy was definitely glowing. I told everyone no no messing with the machines down in the mine. We didn't know what they did. And the last thing we need is our new home collapsing. Guess what though? Rob had had come came clean after I threatened to neuter him. He just had to get drunk and mess with the stupid machine. Wanna know what it does? It leaks radiation all over the place. Apparently uh, apparently, and he's been tinkering with it in secret for months. He caused a massive leak, and now people are dying because of him. We got people who look like corpses still writhing around but not responding. At least Rob's not moving anymore. Trying to stay strong, trying to not give up. Uh, people are getting sick. Lots of people getting real sick now. It's been a while, and it's not going away. My hair's been falling out, skin's peeling, I can't eat. Wish I could find out who exposed us to this freaking plague so I could kill him myself. You told me never to give up, love. I won't. I'll get through this, just like everything else. I'm going to do you proud. Low on chems. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe just a bad flu or something, but we're all starting to ache and feel weak. We were using chems to offset the effects but it's taking a long time to get over it without any doctors around and we're almost out. The cutthroats still have a ton of chems, especially now that the diehards are bringing them all to the top of the world. I think they'd be willing to trade us a case of chems for the mini nukes we stole from those Brotherhood of Steel guys. 
I know I told you no more chems, but that was long ago, and the world's a different place, babe. I'm only taking what I need to get through the day with this illness. Good haul. Hit up a band of travelers coming through the mountains. Got a lot of good loot and supplies out of it. They said goods uh, and some supervisor to some supervisors over the hills. So we should check out that settlement soon. One of them looked like you. I hesitated just briefly. She pleaded for her life, started screaming I had to do it. Or she'd attract others or who knows what. One of them looked like you. Could she have been going delirious and not recognized? Maybe I shouldn't have. These mines are a good hideout. No one ever comes looking for us here anyway. In other news, I had to shoot Frank dead. He thought he could take a little of the top off the top and keep it for himself. Now he's sharing his cash with everyone as a reminder to not get greedy. Diehard's visit. Margie came down with some of her diehard losers to check out the new place. She said she wants to gather up everyone's key fragments to make some sort of backup copies in case something happens to one of them or some BS like that. F that. So these key fragments are what we're looking for. All right. We all know you had a problem with boss man Thorpe, Margie. You're, you're uh, lucky we cut you in on the cash, but somehow you keep us all supplied with chem. So yeah. Uh, still, we ain't gonna hand over all our keys. You could run off with all our stuff. Nice try, but no way. Miss you. I miss you so much, Lucy. If you only knew what we've had to become. Sometimes I wonder maybe it's for the best you checked out when you did, so you didn't have to see me this way. Then again, I'm real good at what I do. It's scary how naturally, naturally burglary comes to me and how tough I've become. I mean, I always had to be tough, but you knew that. Growing up where we did, people gave us shit for who we were. It usually took handing out a fat lip or a black eye to make people respect me. Guess I've carried that into my new life. Oh, I'm thirsty now. <laughs> uh, you'd be proud of that at least. I stood up, took charge, I'm leading. They actually, they know better than to come on to me and I don't have to say nothing, no more. If you're watching somehow, just know that everything I do, I do to survive. Don't hate me. And finally in. We finally cracked the password for this thing. It was pumpernickel, like the bread. The previous foreman's locker hadn't been cleaned out and we found it written on a crumpled note in there. Lucky find, huh? That stupid robot outside wasn't any help. The guy seemed to like him, so I guess we him around. Anyway, now it's my term terminal, and as the leader of this ragtag group of bandits, I'm using it as my own lawn for whatever comes to mind. Ever since I lost her to the war, I've got no one to confide in, no one I trust with my thoughts. This is the closest thing I've got now. I swear if one of the, these a-holes ruin this for me, I'll send them packing with a bullet in the back of their head. Yeah, man, Freddy, uh... Freddie had some, uh, it's an interesting story and some tough times. Foreman reports. So now these are all still leading up to uh, the bombs because the bombs were in October. So this is the summer before. Uranium yields have been way up. The boys have tweaked those extractor machines so that they're pulling the stuff in at a rate faster than an army of miners ever could. It's much safer to uh, this spells good news for us down here at our level with profits way up. It's bound to come trickling down to us. Can't wait to see the fleet of shiny new Corvegas driving into work. Nice, uh, nice Corvega reference right there. Uh, caught some of my crew lounging about on the job this morning. Vinny was, was even sleeping. I hated to do it, but I had to write him up. The guy used to be such a powerhouse, but he says he finished all his hauls an hour into the job today. I get it that the machines are particularly running themselves and produce a lot less waste, but there's still plenty to do around here. They need constant supervision. There are buttons to press and meters to monitor. Uh, incident report, Chet Bronson slipped and took a spill in tunnel, in tunnel three, 
He'll be laid up for a while, but frankly, I don't know if we'll be able to keep him on staff. We have too much on payroll as it is. Orders came from on high today. We had to let go of about 30 of our guys today. It's just some of the, it's just some of, what is that? It's just some of the chaff. These guys have been slacking off for a while now, so it's probably for the best. We'll be fine without them. This job could be done with a crew of a dozen if it were needed to. I tell you, the marvels of modern engineering just make life easier. Called the crew together this morning uh, to, that, to chat about next week's meeting with the big wigs. Everyone's to be on their best behavior and we're going to whip this operation in shape big time before the, the arrival. This mine's going to shine. Some of the guys are understandably worried after the layoffs, but I assured them their jobs are not in danger. We're going to show the suits how, to, how a tight crew can work in concert with state-of-the-art technology to be the highest yield uranium mine in the country, if not the entire world. All right, last report. Screw this, I moved all the way out to West Virginia for this job when I was perfectly happy in Pittsburgh. I've been, I've been here hardly a year and a half and they replaced me with that bucket of bolts. They said it was cheaper. Like anyone's gonna take orders from a robot. I should have seen this coming when they offered me what they did and then when I got and then when I got here, I find out they're building the whole thing to basically run itself. What a crock! I told them I'd wipe this terminal, but I'm leaving my reports here as a lesson to the next guy they hire when that stupid robot can't hack it. So again, it's the automation. But um, the foreman's, I mean, that turned that all happened and turned pretty quick, from mid July, early July to uh, early August. And production reports, error, cannot access data. All right, so we need to drink. So yeah, that, that's a running theme. Oops. Uh, the running theme is automation in mining town. All right, chunks. And we need some, some liquids. Probably gonna have to go down to the, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do, well, I can do a beer, but I don't wanna get drunk, and we'll do purified water.